Check in, check in. Let's go. Let's go, boys. The athletic teams at Roberts Wesleyan work extremely hard to be successful on and off the field. I'm Dr. Dina Porterfield, president of Roberts Wesleyan College. From training to homework and games to exams, Red Hawks give it their best. Here's a special look at one of our Roberts teams in a season inside. First day of college. Anything? Welcome. Thank you. The summer heat welcomed the Roberts Wesleyan men's soccer team back to campus. I think the two weeks of preseason, as hard as they are, as hard as coach pushes us, they're the best two weeks of college for me. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Time to go to work. The Red Hawks' 2018 roster included four seniors, eight juniors, and nine first and second year players. I've been a part of this team for three years, and uh, this is one of the more promising teams I've been a part of. It's a really strong connection between players, both on and off the field, which is a big positive. The 2018 schedule had 16 matches on it. Teamwork makes the dream work. Including nine in the East Coast Conference, one of the strongest in NCAA Division II. Well, some of our goals is to just, you know, try to make the conference tournament, um, have a winning season, um, you know, small goals that we all want to lose at home. So whenever we come home, we want to be able to win in front of our fans. We're a team first mentality. We're coming in not just to win, but to build relationships, to do well in school. And I think overall, it's just a, a good atmosphere that we had this year. Well, I was optimistic. You know, we had uh, a pretty good core uh, returning, and I knew the talent level coming in. Um, and I knew that it was going to be a bit of a challenge because I knew we were going to be a young team, but I felt like uh, if we could get everyone on the same page and get everyone to buy in and establish that good team culture, I thought we could really make a go of it. With training camp over, the Red Hawks opened the season with three road games, a win and a loss in Ohio and a tie in Massachusetts. On Saturday, September 8th, Roberts played its home opener. The Red Hawks hosted Stonehill College from Easton, Massachusetts at the soccer stadium. One, two, three. Red Hawks! It was a great start. Roberts scored twice early. Alex Perez Vega and Dylan Ruiz scored to make it 2-0 Red Hawks. The Skyhawks came back to tie the match at 2-2. But then Roberts junior Terrell Spencer scored the go-ahead goal. And minutes later, it was Spencer again as Roberts won the game 4-2. This is a great win for us, especially since our first home game. So this is leading the way for our, the rest of our home games and we're, we're looking to not lose any games at home this year. So that's a big thing for us this year. So we're really happy that we got the first win here. We've got a lot of new faces, a lot of young faces. And at, at times uh, they look very, very good. And other times we get a little bit off track. So uh, we just need to build in a little bit more consistency and uh, I think we'll be fine going forward. Four days later, Roberts was back home to face California University of Pennsylvania. Roberts went right to work. Spencer sent Joe Hans to see me in for the goal. It was 1-0 at 1256. California tied it. Then Roberts with several chances, but just couldn't get the ball in the back of the net. And after two overtimes, the match ended in a 1-1 tie. From last year to this year, it's a huge difference. The recruit class that we have coming in, that came in, was excellent. I think uh, the guys that we had um, that stayed on, on the team is excellent class as well. And I mean, coaches putting together some good training sessions and we're just here to play. And I think going forward, we're gonna be an excellent team. We just can't play like this, the way we play tonight. One, two, three, family. family. Game day. Roberts played the next four games on the road. On September 22nd, they traveled to rival Damon. The Red Hawks would play 10 games away during the 2018 season. The trip to Damon in Amherst near Buffalo was the shortest trip. The, space, the, the Red Hawks would also travel to places like Philadelphia, Boston, and Canton, Ohio. But on this day, it was the 60 minute trip down the New York State Thruway. All right, let's go, boys. Once they arrived at Carrer Field, Coach Scott Reber went over the game plan for the match with Damon. You know that you have it in you. Have confidence. 
Go out there and play like it. All right, let's go. In the game, Roberts outshot the Wildcats 6-4 to four in the first half, but the match was scoreless. Then in the 56th minute, Damon with a free kick. Giacomo Bacagalupo was able to curl the shot into the net. That was the only goal of the game. Damon defeated Roberts 1-0. Uh, they're right down the throughway from us, and uh, not only with the league, but in our conference, but just the emotion with the game and how much it means to be the winner of this game is huge, and uh, it's really disappointing to walk away with uh, nothing. There's a lot of soccer left. We got seven conference games ahead of us, all right? So we got a lot to look forward to. The loss made for a quiet trip home, back down the thruway, and a late afternoon return to the Roberts campus. The next road trip to Philadelphia produced a 4-1 victory over Chestnut Hill. The Red Hawks returned home to host nationally ranked LIU Post in an ECC matchup. It was also homecoming weekend for the Red Hawks. Here we go, Roberts, here we go. The match was scoreless when LIU Post was awarded a penalty kick. But Roberts senior keeper Ben Hastings made the save. And then incredibly another save to keep the game scoreless. The match went to overtime and then a second OT and in the final minute, a heartbreak for the Red Hawks when Lucas Osterman knocked in the rebound for the Pioneers. It was a tough 1-0 loss for Roberts. I just think it just says that we have a lot of talent on this team, um, a lot of fight and a lot of drive and a lot of desire to win the game. Um, unfortunately, we didn't, we didn't get the result that we wanted today, but I think just taking a team like that to double overtime was enough to say that we are a different team and we are, we are coming this year. Hastings made eight saves in the game but the penalty kick saves will be remembered most. Uh, going through my mind in the penalty, um, he was going on the run up and he took a peek up at me. So uh, I decided to make a step one way, fake him the other way. And uh, thankfully he bit on it and I made the save. Uh, the rebound was just trying to make myself big and I got lucky and it just popped right up to me. And uh, yeah, it was pretty crazy. <laughs> the homecoming loss dropped Roberts to three, four and three and 0-2-1 and in the conference. Following two road losses, the Red Hawks returned home on Saturday, October 13th to host the University of the District of Columbia. This match was scoreless into the second half, and minutes after UDC scored, the Red Hawks answered on the goal by Johans Tusimi, and they went to overtime again. And for the second straight home match, it was heartbreak in OT as the Firebirds won the game in the 93rd minute, two to one. It's a tough loss and always been having these heartbreaks in the final. Uh, I think we just have to kind of like work on like finishing, the, killing the game in the 90 minutes uh, so that we don't, ha we ha we don't have to worry about such. Come on, bro. Huh? Three days after another tough loss, the Red Hawks were upbeat and hungry. This is the whole goal. It's for you guys to just relax before you have another big game, you know? Professor Carrie Starr, the men's soccer faculty mentor, invited the team to her house for a pasta dinner the night before the Red Hawks match against Mercy. It was great food and lots of laughs. It's always fun. Like, all the guys are kind of really funny, so when we get to go away and do things off campus and stuff, it's, it's always fun. I think it just adds a lot of chemistry because like when, you, when you're hanging out with um, your players more often and, and you see them a lot more, they become more of, of your family rather than your teammate or just your friend. They become more of a family aspect and you know you see everyone as your, as your brother. Get the ball, move it. Get it, move it, get it, move it. One and two touch, switching the point of attack. Wait for them to go back and forth, open up the gaps and seams, and we put a guy through, get him behind, and finish him off. The next day, Roberts hosted Mercy, the eighth-ranked team in the nation, One, two, three, and the first-place team in the East Coast Conference. And in a stunning result, this time the Red Hawks were rewarded. Dylan Ruiz scored two goals, and Aaron Massey, another first-year player, scored a goal as Roberts upset the eighth-ranked Mavericks 3-1. to one.
I mean, that made program history. I mean, that's a, uh, the first time that we've uh, beat a nationally ranked team in the top 10 in Division II. So to do that this year, uh, again, is just good signs of things to come. It was a great experience. Like, I just felt like everyone came together at that, at that time, and we, we figured, like, we could really, we weren't, we weren't out of it yet, so we, we wanted to make a statement. I think we did that day. The Red Hawks' final home game and final game of the season was October 27th. It was senior day as Roberts honored their four seniors on the roster. The weather was miserable. A day of rain left the field soaked. One, two, three, run! And the driving rainstorm continued throughout the match against Bridgeport. After falling behind very early, the Red Hawks' Alex Perez Vega answered to tie the game. And then in the 13th minute, Carl McNulty scored to give Roberts the lead. But Bridgeport tied it before halftime. And the match remained tied through most of the second half. The rain continued. Roberts had several great chances, but just couldn't get the go-ahead goal. And then with three minutes left, Bridgeport's Erlen Skagstad scored the game winner. The season was over. In the locker room, as the players dried out, the coach and seniors spoke. I'm proud of you guys. I love you guys. We now have to finish what these seniors started. I've been here since my freshman year. And I've seen the program grow into what it is now. And it just, I, I, I wish them nothing but success in the future. It's been a really good year overall. I know the record doesn't show it, but um, I think as a team, this is a big positive step forward. The Red Hawks finished 2018 5, 8, and 3 overall and 2, 6, and 1 in the conference. They lost six matches by one goal. Two of those losses came in overtime. A late season win over the eighth ranked team in the nation with a young roster, combined with talent, determination, and faith, give the Roberts Wesleyan men's soccer team a platform for a promising future. We're certainly heading in the right direction, for sure. Um, you know, the, the core of the group is, is returning. Uh, we've got to replace three seniors. And, uh, you know, we've got uh, a couple guys already committed. And uh, we're excited again about the level of talent that we're bringing in. One, two, three, three! I think just after the talent that we've seen off of this year, um, it, it's very big. You know, we were having um, multiple players um, getting points and, and scoring goals and getting assists. And, and, you know, I think it was more spread out this year so that we can kind of spread that, um, kind of that weight on more than just you know, one or two people. This year I felt like we were very talented. Uh, we competed in, like every, in every game. Um, we, we beat the number eight team in the nation, but uh, I think we left some games on the table that we definitely could have won. This season was definitely better. Uh, I felt like we started off hot and we were more of a team, family. Um, but, you know, as it went on, um, we broke down in certain situations. Uh, it took us a while to pick it up again, but when we found it, we started flowing again. So I would say all in all, it was up and down, but when it comes down to, like, the family, the unity, it was very high. Family on three. One, two, three. Family! A season inside was made possible courtesy of a special friend of the Red Hawks.